In this video, I'd like to talk to you about flowering and the effect of infrared lights on plant flowering. Now, in flowering, in biology, that term is called photoperiodism. Different plants will flower at different times. We have what are called long day plants. These are plants that flower when the days are long. Now, it turns out it's actually the darkness that encourages flowering. So a better term for these would be short night plants. Other plants are called short day plants. And again, the better term for this would be long night plants. These are plants that flower in the spring and fall when the nights get long. There are still other plants that are called day neutral plants. These are plants like tomatoes and corn. They, you can't really alter their flowering time. They flower when they're a certain size, and that's just how it goes. Now, when we talk about long day and short day plants, if we want to understand how this works, we have to understand a molecule called phytochrome. Now, phytochrome is a protein, and it's a pigment. It absorbs light energy. It has nothing to do with photosynthesis. Phytochrome exists in two forms. There is what's called phytochrome red, and there is phytochrome far red. And it is the ratio of these two forms that determines flowering. Now, when plants have red light, that causes the phytochrome red to be turned into phytochrome far red. And when plants are in the dark, the phytochrome far red will be converted back into phytochrome red. And it is the ratio of these two molecules that determine flowering. Now, in long day plants, phytochrome far red is a promoter of flowering. It will promote flowering. And this makes sense. Uh, during the summer, when the days are longer and there's less dark, there'll be more phytochrome red, and so plants will flower. Now, it's the opposite in short day plants. Here, phytochrome far red is an inhibitor. So it inhibits or prevents flowering. And this is why these plants tend to flower in the spring or the fall. As the nights get longer and longer, there's more dark, which means there's going to be less phytochrome far red, and then the plants begin to flower. Now, what's interesting is because of the new technology, we can create LEDs that have a very specific wavelength of light energy. And it also turns out that when you give plants infrared light or far red light, that also causes phytochrome far red to be turned back into phytochrome red. And since this is an inhibitor in short day plants, that means by giving your plants a little bit of infrared light, maybe right before the dark cycle, that would be light that's about 730 to 740 nanometers, that, that will destroy some of the phytochrome far red, and that will encourage your plants to flower faster. So I would say maybe five to 10 minutes of infrared light before you start your night cycle and see what that does to your flower. You can keep trying to give a little bit more, but you have to be careful. If you give plants too much infrared or far red light and you get rid of too much phytochrome far red, that might actually stress them out. They might think that they're almost at the end of the growing season. They have to hurry up and flower and you'll get a very poor flowering response. So if you're growing a short day plant, plants that flower in the spring or the fall, uh, you can get an LED that emits infrared light, and by applying a few minutes of infrared light to your plants right before the dark cycle, you're going to lower the amount of phytochrome far red. That's inhibiting flowering. So when you get rid of the phytochrome far red, your plants will flower faster and better. If you have any questions about plant flowering or any biology questions at all, please feel free to send me an email at askthedoctor at hdgsupply.com. Good growing.